Now we're going to take a look at how to create a unique, if not sort of quirky, display for your Arduino. What I have here is a panel meter, and they're pretty common. You can find them all over the place. What's important to know is how they display their data. And in this case, this is voltage. There are ones that display amperage, but these are really handy because it goes from zero to five volts. You can find these at many places online. I picked this one up from SparkFun. And what's nice about that is we know Arduino is five volt compliant. So it's very easy to hook up to your Arduino and create an interesting display. So let's start by giving it a quick test. If I just take a coin cell battery and put the negative on the bottom of that and the positive on the top, look at that, getting just about three, just about three volts, which is exactly what this coin cell battery should give me. Now, if I want to hook this up to the Arduino, there's a couple of things you need to consider. Number one, I soldered these male-to-male -male jumper wires on the back, and then I put a little heat shrink over them. This helps me with prototyping. Number two, I like to add a resistor in there. Just like an LED, we want to resist the flow of electricity. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the black into ground. I'm going to plug the red over here into my breadboard. And then I'm going to use this 220 ohm resistor and then I'll grab one more jumper wire and that's going to go into the pin that we want to control this with. So if I went and just plugged my Arduino in, I could just put this directly into 5 volts. And there you go, 5 volts, 3.3, go a little over 3, yeah, just about 3. So we know it's working and it's working quite well, but how can we control it? Let's start by opening up the Arduino IDE. And we'll go to File, Examples, Basic, Blink, which we know is connected to the LED built-in, which is pin 13. My Arduino is hooked up. Let's upload this and put it into 13. You can even hear a little bit of a mechanical sound there, and it's going from zero to five, zero, five. And that's just exactly what the code is doing. If you look at the code, it says output LED pin or the LED built-in pin, which is 13, goes high, then pauses for a second, goes low, pauses for a second. Now, what I want you to do is think about how you can control this so that the needle goes anywhere on this scale. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll give you a hint, look at some of those examples. And when you figure it out, or if you don't figure it out, come back and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so hopefully you figured out how you can do an analog voltage sweep or change so that you can have this dial or this needle indicate any amount of voltage between zero and five. It's pretty simple. If we go over to our Arduino IDE, I can go into the examples, I can go to analog, and I can do fading. And if we look at the code, it tells me that there's an LED attached to pin nine. And if you look through the loop, basically it's a fairly simple four. And what happens is it says, I'm going to analog write, and it's gonna give a, a value from zero to 255 and it's going to fade up and down from zero to 255, which correlates to zero to five volts. So if I unplug this from the pin 13 from before and I plug it into pin nine and upload this, we should get a nice little fade up and down. And there it is. So by using analog write, you can essentially control where that needle is pointing to. Think about that. If you were to connect an ultrasonic sensor and use a map function to map those values over to zero to 255, we could have a distance, whatever sensor you're using, whatever the output may be, display on this dial. Now, is it particularly useful? Maybe not. It's a very popular project, especially for making clocks with dial indicators like this. It is very fun. Another thing to note with just a couple of screws, you can find my Phillips head right here. You can remove the face of this dial indicator, pop the plastic off, 
two more screws right here and here, scan in that plate that's built in there, create some new graphics on your computer, and you could now have this say yes, no, maybe. You could have it set from zero to 12 p.m. or 24, and it could indicate hours or really anything you want. It's a lot of fun, very easy to implement, and these meters are just a couple of dollars.